Hey everyone, videos numbers here. What if fractions had two denominators? Said nobody but me, because that's that's a really dumb question. First, how do fractions work? Well, the intuitive way is that they represent parts of a whole, and the arithmetic operations simply mimic this property based on how it exists in real life. Then there's the the abstract version. Let a and b be integers, b is not zero, that are part of this ordered pair. Here's addition, here's multiplication, and don't forget that when a is not equal to 0, a times b equals a times c if and only if b equals c, and a divided by a is equal to 1 divided by 1. Boring, yet practical, like most things in life. Complex numbers also have a version of this, and that got me thinking. What if I were to design one of these boring systems first, and then come up with a cool-looking notation afterwards? After way too much fiddling around in math class, introducing... Dirational numbers. I, I could not think of a better name, I'm sorry. I'll leave the pretty notation I came- <laughs> That's not funny. Up with, on the top. Well, the mathematical sludge will go down here. First off, how do you actually write these? Quite simple, actually. Get a triangle with the long side facing up. Put the numerator on the top and the two denominators- What? On the bottom. If you're not a fan of all that, use this ordered triplet. These are all integers, for now. Let's get to the properties. First, the denominators cannot be zero, and that equivalence class rule thing from the rational still applies. Next are the operations. Multiplication is simple, just multiply the numerators and denominators together, but division is a little wacky. You see, the reciprocal of a number is whatever you have to multiply by to reach the multiplicative identity, which in this case is 1 divided by 1 and 1. Each component is an integer, or another dirational, but we'll get there, so no cheating. Instead, we may rewrite the right-hand side like this, and reverse the multiplication law we defined earlier to get this outcome. But here's the thing, division doesn't really exist here. Go back like four seconds, or another dirational, but we'll get there. Yeah, there. What did I mean by that? So you know how you can have a fraction inside of another fraction? Well, putting a dirational in the numerator doesn't do anything, putting it in the left denominator rotates the whole thing counterclockwise, and putting it in the right denominator rotates it clockwise. Even if you're about to click off this video, you gotta admit that looks cool as hell. With all this in mind, it's time to do some actual stuff. Let's simplify this mess. First off, split this into three terms which will be multiplied together at the end. I can do this because one times anything cancels out, and you can also distribute one from anywhere. This dirational in the numerator doesn't change, and the one in the denominator gets rotated accordingly. Now, we can multiply everything in place, and we're not done because I have to talk about addition. The problem? I have spent three months trying to figure addition out, and I have absolutely nothing to show for it. This is the nearest I've come to something that works, but there's still a bit of weirdness, which makes me hesitant to even say that. If you really like your normal fractions, however, you can set the right denominator to 1 and forget that any of this ever happened. See you all next year, I think.